Welcome back friends. In this video, we are going to see the next important tool in Lean and that is Spaghetti Diagram. This is also called as a Spaghetti Chart. This is because the shape of this diagram is similar to the spaghetti. A spaghetti chart is a map of the path taken by a person or a specific product as it travels down the value stream in the organization. This spaghetti diagram consists of the two parts. The first part is before improvement and second part is after improvement. The before part is typically indicated by the red color and the after part can be indicated by the blue color or the green color. Spaghetti diagram is a process analysis tool and this is helping the process teams to identify disturbances, delays or unnecessary movements in the workflow and thereby identify opportunities to eliminate them so that we can speed up the process flow. The main focus of the spaghetti diagram is to eliminate the disturbances. For example, areas where many workways overlap are causes of the congestion and delays. Waiting of material or person is a one type of waste in the lean and the spaghetti diagram is also focusing how we can reduce the waiting times. With the help of spaghetti diagram, we are going to identify and highlight the major intersection points which are not possible without the help of spaghetti diagram. Now, let's understand in detail how to use this spaghetti chart. To create the spaghetti chart, it consists of the three steps. In first step, we start with the high level process step. We are going to use the post-it notes to diagram the workstations or the machines used. In this step, we are going to count how many times each machine or workstation is used. In second step, we draw the arrows to show the movement of the product through the workspace. In third and last step, we are going to brainstorm how we can rearrange the machines or work areas so that we can reduce the movement of the people and materials. This is a very important exercise and we are going to eliminate the majority of the waste from the processes. Now, as we are going to perform the spaghetti diagram, here are some guidelines which will help you to conduct this exercise. The first guideline is involve the operators which are working in the process. Second guideline, draw the process the way it actually flows. Please avoid the manipulations in drawing the spaghetti diagram because it is for the improvement of the process flow. The third important guideline is use different colors to represent the various people or machines. For example, if you want to indicate the four clips or the operator A, operator B, then we can use the different colors for them. The fourth guideline is select the people who are passionate about the need of eliminating waste. The next important guideline is before conducting this exercise, please train the people who are involved in this exercise. The next important guideline is do the preparation for this exercise. It means don't struggle for pencils, paper or other resources in the middle of the exercise. 7. Record all the steps and last and the most important is try to capture some of the what if roots in your notes. For example, if something is happening to the process, then what the operator needs to do. Spaghetti diagram is a very important tool to improve the process flow. We can say that spaghetti diagram is a primary version of the value stream mapping. Now at the end of this video, please note down what is your key learning from this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.